This is Los Angeles, on the western coast of the United States of America. It is yellow-orange due to last week's blazing fires. At the other end of the country, at the Gulf Coast, things are quite the opposite. A blanket of ice has turned the cities white. It is the first ever blizzard warning issued for the Gulf Coast of the United States. The snowstorm was so severe that Donald Trump's inaugural ceremony had to be moved indoors. This has happened after 40 years since Ronald Reagan became President of the United States in 1985. The severe, unprecedented snowstorm named Enzo has left meteorologists and climate scientists astounded by its intensity and reach. They are describing it as a once-in-a-generation event and beyond imagination. The US South is not typically used to such extreme cold. Snow accumulation, including on beaches, shattered long-standing records in many cities of the Gulf Coast states such as Louisiana, Florida and Texas, some of which date back nearly 200 years. The historic snowstorm that hit from Texas to Florida caused airport closures and major road disruptions. At least 12 deaths had been reported as of January 23 due to car crashes and hypothermia. Florida saw record snowfall, with more than 8 inches recorded, doubling the previous record set in 1954. If the planet is warming, why the sudden chill? The exceptional snowfall was linked to atmospheric disturbances thousands of kilometers apart. The first cause was the Arctic polar vortex. The polar vortex is a massive, swirling mass of cold air that normally sits over the Arctic region. During winter, it grows stronger as the northern hemisphere tilts away from the sun. Usually, the polar jet stream, a band of strong winds flowing from west to east, keeps the vortex contained in the colder northern regions. But when the jet stream weakens, it can become unstable, allowing the cold air to break free and move south. This leads to a fall in mercury levels and consequent snow in areas of the US such as Florida and Texas which are generally warmer. The cold can persist for days until the arctic vortex stabilizes again. This instability and the resulting storms have become much more severe in recent years. This time, however, the scenario was slightly different. This winter, the vortex strengthened and stretched unusually far south, enabling Arctic air to spill into the Gulf Coast and bring in the extreme snowstorm in the southeast of United States. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the presence of a stretched out polar vortex in conjunction with a snowstorm does not necessarily imply that it is the immediate cause. The agency also identified a high atmospheric pressure area developing over Alaska as a likely cause of the extreme snowfall, independent of the jet stream and polar vortex. A 2021 study in Science suggested that rapid warming in the Arctic, which is heating up twice as fast as the rest of the world, may be stretching the polar vortex and making the jet stream more unstable. This week's record-breaking snow underscores the growing risks of extreme cold especially in areas not used to these temperatures.